everybody, it's Margaret, and today I'm bringing you a quick video about how to refresh your photos in your listings uh, to make them pop, <laughs> or to show up a little better, or to stand out uh, amongst the others. Um, oftentimes I'll do this when things are slow, or if I don't have any photos at the moment to um, upload for listings. So here I have pulled up my Etsy shop to give you an idea, let me fix myself real quick, to give you a bit of an idea of what I'm talking about. So you can see here, um, these are some of the items in my shop, and some of them look significantly better than others. Some of them pop, you know, as you might say. They show up. This one looks a bit faded out. These two also look a bit faded out. Um, so I'm opening those up in new tabs so that I can take a look at how I might improve them. Um, so here you see this picture, and it's a really pretty hat pin holder, um, but the picture is, I don't I mean, there's no other way to say it, but it looks kind of faded. Um, so what I will do is I'm going to click on the photo and hold down my mouse key, uh, my mouse button on the left, and I'm just going to drag and drop it onto my desktop. Sometimes I just do this with the main photo, other times I will come through and drag and drop all of them. Um, so here I'm just going to drag and drop them all. And then I'm going to show you two ways. I have a Mac, so there's a quick way for me to um, improve the looks of this photo on a Mac. I don't know how to do it uh, in the same way on a PC, but I will show you another way that you can use if you have a PC, what I would do if I didn't know. <laughs> so here on find my Finder window, if you have a Mac, um, I've selected my Finder window, select my photo, which pops up Preview. So it's previewing this photo. Let me, let me hide this for just a second so you can focus on just that. And then here where it, uh, the click Tools and Adjust Color. That's what I want to do, adjust the color. So then this pops up, and sometimes I'll try clicking Auto Levels, and it sometimes works right away. Um, this helped a little bit, but I don't really like all of the ways that it affected it, um, so I don't want to use that. <laughs> so let's start again. Close it out. I didn't save it. Click it open. There we go. Uh, but it looks like it saved. <laughs> Here we go. So here's what I would do. Um, I adjust the exposure a bit to make it a bit brighter. And then sometimes, this one's not too bad, but sometimes my background has a bit of a, a, a orange or a reddish tint. Um, so I'll take the temperature and make it a little, I'll slide it slightly towards the blue. I don't want it to look blue, so I don't want to change anything that significantly, but I'll slide it a little bit towards the blue. Sometimes I'll take a look at, at the contrast, about sliding the contrast over, um, but I don't want to do anything that's going to significantly change the actual way my item looks. Uh, and then I'll save it out. I can click File and then Save up here, or I can do Command S to save it. So once again, let me pop up another one. Um, I'm going to slide the exposure over a bit to brighten it up. Sometimes, you know, maybe I was taking the pictures and it was a cloudy day, and I generally take them at my kitchen table with a few lights, but I don't have a really big fancy setup. Okay, so here's another one, and then I'll show you a, a website that I like to use as well when I'm editing photos. I don't want it to look blue, but I want to brighten it up just a bit. You know what I mean? Okay, so those three look good. The website that I like to use, I use it a lot, is called PicMonkey, and there is a free version, and there's also a paid version, which I have, but for what I'm doing, you don't need the paid version. I'm going to drop the photo in where it says drop to edit. It will pop this up, and then here, over on the side, I'll click exposure, and I can work with the same type of um, features like I had before. Contrast, so I'm sliding the contrast, this is the original contrast, sliding it over just a bit, brightening up uh, just a bit, and then um, apply. And then the colors, wait, is this where I did that? I am usually use, so I might drop it down just a teensy bit, 
And then the temperature, see that's my blue, that's my orange. My temperature looks pretty good. Um, so here, where's it at zero? Here's at zero. But if I slide it a teens that way, it whitens it up a little bit more. So then I'll apply, I will save. I'm just gonna save it out right on top of it. That is not where I'm wanting to save it. Desktop, please. Save, yes, replace. And then I want to create, do the last one that I've got here. Last one, exposure, brighten it up a teensy bit, um, contrast a teensy bit, apply colors. I'm trying to tell, I can't tell much of a difference. That's okay. Nope, nope, right there. Okay, looks good. So save it out and save it out like so, yes. And then before I upload them back in, I want to make sure they look exactly the way I want. Um, I'm covering my face. Oh gosh, what do I do? Here we go. Um, this one, you can see, like compared to this, looks a bit blue. So I'm going to come back in and adjust my blue out a bit. Mm, maybe I want to brighten it up a bit. Brighten it up a bit. And it looks a bit blue in the background, so I want to take that down to more of a white. There we go. So that looks good. That looks pretty good. All right, they're looking good. That one has a bit of a blue tint to it still. That one's got a bit of a red tint that I want to get out. There we go. That one's a bit of a blue tint. I want it to be more on the white. Here we go. Like that. Okay, looks good. So now I'm going to come back to my page. And here it is. So I'm going to choose to edit my item. And when it pulls up, I'm just going to delete those photos out and upload my new photos that I have just edited. And these are the ones I want open. See, that one still came out a little bit bluer than I want, but it's still better than it was. So I want this to be my main photo. And then I can do one more thing. I can adjust my thumbnail, um, and that way I can bring it in closer, center it out more, and it will look way better than it did originally. So let's see. Let me see if I have it still. See, it looks like that. And when I save it out, publish, I wonder if it'll keep the other one. So now it looks like this. That's the way it looked before. Uh, it looks a lot better to me. I might want to drop the picture down a bit. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I guess it's centered. Maybe it's just the way it was lined up. Okay, looks good. I'm nitpicking. I'm nitpicking. <laughs> All right. Looks good. So that's one uh, that I have done. And, oh, it's going back to that. Not what I wanted. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so yeah, I may all, so what I would do is go back and do the same type of thing with, throw those away, um, images like this. You know, if you have a Mac, it's really easy just to do it, um, edit the photo in Mac preview. Um, if not, then PicMonkey is definitely a lifesaver because, you know, it's free. It's very easy to use. It's actually a lot of fun to play with. Um, so there, there are a lot that brings that up and looks a lot better. Let me ch change that one out. I just changed out the first photo on this one because it's quick. There we go. Take that out. Add this in. And so, yeah, if you are looking for a way to quickly um, revamp your shop, you don't have a lot of things to list at the moment, or you want to re just refresh the way things look, um, going through and editing some of your photos is a nice way to do it. Um, after that, I would say taking a look at um, titles and tags and things like that. Uh, stay tuned. My next video, I'm going to talk about how to create a square photo that fits. So as you can see, this image right here is partially cut off um, because, yes, I had a square image, but it was so zoomed in that it doesn't fit in my box in uh, my preview box right there. 
All right, so thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you found this video beneficial and that you can go back and brighten up and fix some of your photos to make them stand out amongst the crowd. All right, have a good day. Go out and enjoy yourselves. Bye.